Years, days makes no difference to me, babe. You look exactly the same to me. Hello, welcome to Thursday's edition of Crack and Cryptic. As Mark said yesterday, uh, he and I have been uh, heavily involved in trying to solve the galactic puzzle hunt, um, which has taken a lot of our time over the last few days, continues to take a lot of our time. Um, so, hence the uh, dearth of videos. Um, but I'm back today. I'm going to take a look at the Times crossword now. This was an interesting puzzle, I thought. Um, I can't remember a puzzle that made use of sound so, uh, so frequently. Um, so I'm not going to go through every clue, but I'm going to talk a bit about um, homophones and the way that setters sometimes mislead us um, by, I think, the way, way my brain works in, in any case is it, it very strongly differentiates between words that may be spelt the same but sound different. And that's, I mean, a very good example is this, three down, it's only a, th a two down, it's only a three letter answer, so normally these are almost a write-in. Uh, surrender weapon, three letters. Um, so, you know, when I first looked at this clue, I went through, you know, a whole list of weapons that three letters long. I'm sure you can think of them all: gun, gat, Uzi, arm. Um, you know, none, none of them remotely uh, uh, close to the answer. Um, eventually, uh, you can you can hone in on bow, as in a bow and arrow. For the weapon and I think that the reason I struggle with this sort of clue is the you know that the second definition there the word surrender um, you know it's a bow in that sense. if you surrender to somebody you bow to them and bow and bow are just so distinct in my mind that putting them together uh, it requires a sort of uh, a, a bit of mental dexterity that I don't seem to have very naturally um, and this 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 went on and on through this puzzle. I mean, here we go, 20 down, counter blow, six letters. Um, it's exactly the same principle that we've just looked at in two down. It's going to be a word that, you know, is spelt the same, obviously, but has two very different pronunciations. I'll give you some letters. And if I give you a U here and a T here, that might, uh, might help. Um, I'll fill in one more, which is the other checking letter you could have got, the F here. Um, and eventually you might come up with buffet, as in a buffet counter. But of course, in the sense of blow here, it's not buffet at all, it's buffet. And yeah, again, very uh, nice, I think, um, misdirection. Uh, you know, this was crossing with this, which is a homophone. So this is one of these clues that contains an expression like, did you say, or as we hear, um, or by the sounds of it. Um, and what we're looking at here with three letter answer, no friend is the definition. And it's making use of the fact that um, foe is in this spelling. Obviously, this can mean false, uh, but sounds the same as the word foe here. And then again, 22 across. Nice place where I fight in middle of barrage. Uh, this was a nice clue. Again, I'll give you some starting letters here. So, um, you know, if we look for instruction, we can see in middle of there, in the middle of the clue. That seems to be suggesting we need to do something with the middle letters of the word barrage. Um, and because we need to put something in the middle of those letters, we actually have to take the middle three letters there. The R, R and the A. Um, so, nice place where I fight, so we need to put words meaning I fight or where I fight in the middle here to give a nice place. Well, those of you who've solved this, I'm sure you know, this is easy, but what you need to come up with here is I, which is just this I here, followed by fight. If you fight with somebody, you vie with them, you fight for someone's affections or vie for their affections. Um, and we get Riviera, and you might be thinking, well, the Riviera is quite a nice place. Uh, I guess that's sort of a slightly loose definition. But of course, what the set has done here is uh, uh, you have to pronounce it Nice place. Once you get Nice place, i.e. The, the French place Nice, Riviera becomes suddenly much more uh, obvious. Um, 
very, very nice um, compiling. Same again here, 11 across, female rhino picked up by the ears. So again, picked up by the ears here is um, suggesting a homophone, or at least it, you know, that's certainly something we should be considering. So female and rhino, three letter words for a female. The first thing I thought of was she, but that, that won't help you much. Um, what do you actually need here? I'll put some of the letters in, D, E, that might help. The answer is doe, a doe being a generic word for a female. And also if we say, oh, if we spell doe like this, it obviously means money. And rhino is a word that can mean uh, money. So again, making use of the different ways that English words are pronounced to come up with a very, again, a very misleading but clever clue with a very good surface. And also 19 down, same again, making use of sound. So reportedly here is what's being used to indicate the homophone. Reportedly, disregard impediment to create a ripple. So we're looking for a word here that means ripple. Um, and I think the V there is helpful. I can tell you you could also have got a W here from um, uh, Neck of the Woods, I think was the answer at 17 across. So this pattern, a ripple, well, slightly unusual word, but a wavelet is a, uh, a small wave, so as in a ripple. And wave here is punning on W-A-I-V-E, as if you wave a rule. Uh, something like that, you would disregard it. Um, and then let is an old word for impediment. So wavelet there at 19 down. Five clues, all of which should have made use of sound. Very, very unusual. And arguably even a um, uh, sixth at 10 across. So might exhibitionists stand naked under this? Um, I thought this was a great clue. Um, the reason it's a very clever clue is that it's the use of the word might. It's it's being used in the surface reading of the clue to indicate could really could exhibitionists stand naked under this? It's that sort of um, that sort of sense in which we read the clue. However, in the cryptic reading, we need to read the word "might" on its own. We need to think of a synonym for the word "might" that is totally unrelated to words like "could." Might as in mighty power. So power. And then an exhibitionist here is um, somebody who shows, a shower like this. But of course, if we say shower differently, we can pronounce it shower. And a power shower is something you might stand naked under. So again, lovely. Um, I'll just mention two more clues, not because they particularly use sound, but because uh, they may have raised questions when you solve them. So. Uh, not that one, which was the one, umpteen, 21 across, who padded seat without ends even a great deal. Um, you may have wondered about the start of that clue, uh, umpt, which is a padded seat without its ends, because a humpty, believe it or not, is in humpty dumpty, a humpty is a padded seat. I don't know if the sort of etymology comes from the fact that humpty dumpty fell down and could have done with a padded seat. Um, but yeah, humpty for a padded seat there, and then een for even, umpteen being a great deal. Uh, what else did I like? I liked seven down. Um, initially, nearly 500 gate crashing aus in Greece, considerably more to follow. So um, the way to get into this, initially nearly should be making you think of the N, the first letter of the word nearly. Um, 500 or 500 will always be the Roman numeral D. So if you have actually got these letters in the grid, you might be thinking that as the start, and it's a three-letter word, so it looks like and at the start, and that's a good, you know, good way to go about filling in this answer. So then we need house in Greece. What could that mean? Well, um, whenever you see a setter use this trick where an H is replaced by an apostrophe, it normally means that in the answer, um, an H will be just missing from a word in which we'd expect to find it. It's sort of hinting at slang pronunciation when people drop their H's. So here, what's a synonym for house that contains an H? Well, I think there's an obvious one, and that's home. 
So here, that is what we need. And then we need a word for house in Greece. Well, an Athens house or an Athens ohm is, uh, is what's required around the N and the D there. And that, of course, if we then read it out, is and then some, which means considerably more to follow. Lovely clue. And uh, finally, I'll just mention this one. Um, the reason for mentioning it is it's quite hard to pass. So drunken layabout virtually abandoned. Um, the answer there is a synonym for drunken, which is sloshed. And here we need a word for a layabout virtually. So i.e. almost all of the letters of the layabout. Well, a slob is a layabout. So with the SLO and leave the B behind. Um, and then abandoned, if something, if you shed something, you would abandon it. You could shed your skin and abandon your skin. I think that's what the compiler's getting at there. Um, and so sloshed will uh, we'll finish the puzzle. That was my last one in. Um, so there you go. Um, interesting puzzle today. As I say, I made lots of use of sounds, which I liked. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll hopefully be back again soon. Galactic Puzzle Hunt permitting with uh, uh, more videos. So thanks for watching. You saw the masterpiece, she looks so